Hello everyone, uh, my name is Fareed. I am currently Chief Resident of Mount Sinai West and Mount Sinai St. Luke's. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank Marwan uh, for this recording. Uh, so he asked me to talk to you guys about uh, the process of how we went from taking the workshop and being productive afterwards and you know getting uh, abstracts and oral presentations and papers after that. So uh, we first took the workshop in the spring of 2016. Um, it was me and a group of my co-residents at the time. Um, some of them you may know, Paul Croner, uh, Alejandro Lamore, Sean Lee, Carolina Hurtado, a bunch of these people ended up doing uh, fellowships right now. So uh, we took the workshop at Hopkins Bayview initially and we felt exactly what you guys are feeling now. We felt really overwhelmed. Um, the amount of material Marwan fits in that workshop is, you know, at the beginning it feels really overwhelming because uh, you have to learn stats, you have to learn coding, you have to learn um, the state of software, you know, everything, it, it, it just it seems, a, just it's a lot. Um, the way we dealt with it, our group dealt with it, was uh, the few of us that went to the workshop, we formed a group and we started with a project, a clinical question that we had that we thought was interesting at the time. Um, the question I remember we had was the time to LP in meningitis patients. We were very excited, we wrote the first code, it took us about like a whole day to kind of come up with the code find the ICD codes, you know, go through the whole process. Um, we were very excited. We sent the present, we sent the project and the, uh, the file to uh, Marwan to give us some feedback. And, you know, he was very nice. Initially he said, great job, great effort, but your question was completely wrong. So we got very excited that, you know, at least our uh, coding part and like the process itself was good, but our clinical question was actually wrong. And uh, you know, I'm sure Marwan will cover that. You know, during the workshop. So, what we did from that point was we kind of used our group. Initially, our group kind of had different clinical interests, uh, anywhere from cardiology to GI to endocrine. Um, we did a bunch of uh, you know, we kind of got together once a week at the beginning. Um, we served as, at, as each other's tutors, uh, we did a bunch of code, um, and some of the stuff that we did, uh, you know, kind of didn't really go anywhere, but it was a great learning process on its own. Um, as that first phase sort of passed, we splintered off into groups based on different specialties. So we formed a cardiology interest group amongst ourselves that we knew how to use the Stata software and we started doing a bunch of abstracts and from that point on it kind of took off um, and we were able to do poster presentations at places like ACC, AHA. Uh, the one that we were really proud of was the European Society of Cardiology. We went to Barcelona, actually did a oral presentation there. So we were very, we were able to be very productive towards the end. So um, Marwan asked me to kind of go over the do's and don'ts uh, from this point on. Um, the things to do, as I said, form the group, assign roles to each person in the group, whether it be someone does the coding, someone does the actual writing of the manuscript, someone looks up all the ICD codes, which can take a really long time. Um, you know, someone does the literature review, you know, as, as you wish, depending on the number of people you have in the group. The things to not do is don't be discouraged. Um, a analogy I like to use is it's learning Stata and learning this process is kind of like trying to move a huge truck. You know, at the beginning, the inertia is you know huge. It's hard to move the truck, uh, but you got to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And once you kind of get past that first stage. Um, you'll get the rewards of, of the process and you'll be you know very productive um, and uh, again things not to do don't be discouraged um, it's okay to fail it's okay uh, to ask the wrong questions to not be able to you know or write a code and it uh, gives you an error um, can be discouraging but 
um, the people that succeed that end up succeeding from the workshop or the people that kind of keep at it and uh, learn on their own and, and keep in mind the whole process is you have to learn on your own uh, what Marwan gives you is the tools uh, and the rest is sort of up to you is going online looking up these different websites asking him or other people that have done this in the past and that's how you'll succeed.